been a very eventful year at the movies for me because as the state lines being blurred in our nation becomes more of the norm me singing praises about a lesser known film is less shouting in the void and more a collective experience of celebration but more importantly discussion for some industries it's been rather bleak from a content point of view and for most of the other languages across the country it's been some major home runs and some terrible misses we are going to get to the torturous movie experiences of 2022 in the next episode so stay tuned for how i lost several brain cells this year as well While the Tamil, Telugu and Malayalam film industry really have delivered both compelling storylines and have garnered commercial notoriety over several years, it was the Kannada film industry that really came out of the woodwork and deservedly was showered with the love of the audience this year. Hindi cinema, let's be honest, only pulled up its socks around the end of the year in a year which can only be termed as dismal. Getting right into the list without stalling any further because I know you're shouting at me for the same point, but just to be clear, this is my list. So you also do chime in on your favorites in the comments. comments below it would be lovely to read your list of favorites this year so here is tried and refused productions with top 10 best indian movies of 2022 number 10 goes to love today a film that i was recommended by the tamil film fan base here and i went into the theater not really expecting much other than the fact that pradeep ranganathan has exceptional potential as a creator but my god was the experience an absolute laugh riot i can really debate about this film's social implications and why people have problems with it but one thing that cannot be denied about this movie is its brilliant screenplay and impeccable editing from the accuracy of how the young demographic talks to each other to the crazier revelations that follow causing many cracks in the relationship between the prime the characters love today is also a sign of how the romantic genre can be beyond the cookie cutter star cross lover story be contemporary and still be bloody entertaining i genuinely regret not having the opportunity to watch this in a chennai packed theater on its opening weekend Number 9 goes to Kala. I was genuinely getting concerned whether Hindi cinema will have a standout knockout film that I will absolutely fall in love with and in came Anvita Dutt with the most gut-wrenching yet aesthetically beautiful film titled Kala, showcasing a heartbreaking performance by Tripti Dimri and an intimidating Swastika. Their toxic relationship and the never-ending pursuit of validation was a trip to the 40s I just did not want to get out of. The slow degradation of the human mind when only love, empathy and kindness is missing takes the talented Kala in a spiral that not only makes us empathize with her but beg for some form of closure. The angelic music by Amit Trivedi and a powerful tale told by a director who will only get better. Kala really came as such a surprise, making me also excited to see what Tripti Dimri and Anvita Dutt have up their sleeve in their upcoming ventures. Number 8 goes to Nathan Kesakodu a film that i terribly pronounced and i missed watching in the theater as it released on the same weekend as Talumala and boy did i miss out on the absolute hilarious ride i would have had in a packed theater with Keralites the film is absolutely hilarious never transitioning to becoming gimmicky or over the top in its screenplay a great balance of treading the line between effective but slapstick clever and understated writing is the best way i can describe the film's merits but the characters of this world are the ones that stay with you whether it be the police officer who always ends up stating the obvious the new recruit who is a sticker for rules constantly talking about laws pertaining to arrests a milk seller and the unfiltered nature with which he confesses to every possible sin in his life the hilar is ride or die and absolutely in love couple that totally won my heart or my favorite the judge played by pp kunni krishnan who hits it out of the park completely His reactions, dialogue delivery, his ADHD and the case of flying pigeons, all of it created for such a beautiful mixture of comedy while still being socially relevant. What an absolute treat this one was. Number 7 goes to Janagana Mana. A film that caught me so off guard and for so many reasons was the Malayalam courtroom and social drama Janagana Mana. The ability of creators to really question several of our systems that we consider to be the mantle of truth or justice was really showcased in this film. Courtroom dramas often tend to deviate towards inspirational fluff and preaching, but this film really presented hard-hitting truths. The film speaks about the several facets of our society today, the credibility of the media, trials orchestrated by them for ratings, and the shelf life of their news, the brief cycle of anger and selective outrage, the nameless, faceless puppeteers that often call the shots, and the city of common folk to abide by not what they know is right, but what is told to them, and most importantly, the concept of truth and justice. A film with a lot to pack in but worth every minute, with exceptional performances by Prithviraj and Suraj especially. 
Number 6 goes to Gargi a film that absolutely dropped my jaw this year was definitely the Sai Pallavi star Gargi directed by Gautam Ramachandran based on the imprisonment of the patriarch of a simple family and the daughter's pursuit of justice for her father who she feels has been wrongfully accused and kept in custody the slow unraveling of events in this film really left me shocked and truly speechless the staging and cinematography of the film has great attention to detail really heightening the psychological toll it takes on the protagonist extremely hard hitting performances by Sai Pallavi and Kali Venkat is one thing but truly the effective screenplay by Gautam Ramachandran and Hari Haran Raju are the real heroes i assure you you'll be caught off guard with the climax of this film making you question several of the preconceived notions you had on the journey sai pallavi really deserves all the praise for the stellar 2022 she had Number 5 goes to Vikram. When one is formulating their best list for movies, at least this is my opinion, it shouldn't be restricted to films that only account for the artistic debates and discussions on social media, but those films that have a ground impact with the masses, an ability and art form that is often not given its due respect among film circles. And one film that delivered that, and I mean mass entertainment this year was definitely Vikram. It's an absolute joke the number of theater response videos I may have seen for this film. The theater atmosphere was absolutely electric. The complex storyline aside, the sheer marriage of Lokesh's visuals and Anirudh's music accounted for so many moments that make for what we know as mass cinema so special. Vijay Sethupathi, Fahad Fasil and Kamal Hassan are in such fine form. A film with one of the most memorable interval blocks and conclusions. I'm still looking forward to the Argentina spin-off and how Rolex really screws shit up in the installments ahead. The low Loki verse is something that I'm fully invested in. Number 4 goes to Jaya 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 He. A film that can be best described as chota packet bada dhamaka not only for the scale of the movie and how the audience resonated with the content but Darshana Rajendran who can easily have her own spin off after this film. Many people consider The Great Indian Kitchen to have brilliantly showcased the complexities that come with toxic marriages and a domestic life that slowly brims to the point of being unbearable. But this film tethers the impossible line of presenting an entertaining movie and still getting its compelling social point across. I believe its task was even tougher than The Great Indian Kitchen and the director and especially Basil Joseph and Darshana Rajendran for making every single sequence believable deserve all the praise. I can't tell you the number of elevation scenes in this movie and those who will watch it for the first time trust me you're in for an absolutely wild ride. Number 3 goes to Kadaisi Vivasai Written and directed by M Manikandan, it still breaks my heart on how little attention has been given to this gem of a film, a nuanced tale that deserves everyone's attention. The film sheds light on the trials and tribulations that simple frugal and almost stoic individuals deal with while being hounded by capitalistic young folk who want to sell his land, the disintegration of sustenance farming and the loss of societal unity that is riddled with caste differences. The movie provides a commentary on the rapid corporatization of most processes and the complete dissolution of the individual. Now Alandi with a gut-wrenching performance just wanting to tend to his field will make your heart reach out for him. A layered Vijay Sethupathi performance is an icing on the cake in this complex yet effective film. Please do give it some love because it's not only poetic but beautifully crafted. Number 2 goes to Kantara. I think one thing is clear with my relationship with Kannada cinema and its creators that if Rakshit Rishabh or Raj are behind the making of a particular film there is no way I'm going to miss that opportunity of watching that movie in the theater on its opening weekend. I remember Kantara had released in just a select few theaters in North India and I had gone for that one show in the evening. That immersive experience will never go out of my head. That organic, visceral and almost out of body experience that I had is the raw and organic reaction of a film lover and being invested in one's vision. I loved it, embraced it and wanted more of it. As things do get embroiled in debates about being overhyped or overrated when they garner massive public support, Kantara was subjected to the same discussions, but I will never ever forget the engaging experience Rishab took me on, the dedication he clearly showcased in each frame, the trance like state he made audiences achieve and most importantly, told a story that was his truth so poetically. I don't think anyone can take that away from him no matter how many Twitter forums start and end about the film. Before I discuss the number 1 position for me, I do have to tell you some honorable mentions. These include impressive films that deserve praise and attention but just slipped out of my list. Again, as I said, it is my list which is entirely subjective, so we're of course going to beg to differ in a lot of these standings. Baby, is the game over?
And finally, number one goes to RRR. Imagine a country from where a creator is absolutely being celebrated internationally for his sheer vision, for his audacity, for his balls to the wall filmmaking and more importantly his conviction. A movie from India that has crossed boundaries and cultures and is being celebrated globally is criticized the most by its own people. It isn't highbrow enough for the Oscars. It's just one action set piece after the other. The criticism of SS Rajamouli and his venture RRR became so toxic in the Indian film space online that people started mocking him for his top 10 films, insinuating that his choices are not intellectual enough to be even considered in the big leagues. This intellectual echo chamber is insufferable, and I can with no shame claim RRR to be one of the most fascinating and immersive movie experiences in theaters for me this year. A tale of brotherhood told on such a massive scale and conviction that Indian should be proud of rather than what we usually do fight amongst ourselves while the world is going gaga imagine not being the official submission to the oscars from your country and still getting nominated that's how the film has transcended and if it wins if i get to see ram charan and junior ntr dance on natu natu on the oscar stage and it winning best song I would love to see the faces of those who are trying everything in the book to discredit its quality. The views on that show will be off the charts. And that was a video guys. Write down in the comments below your favorite movies of this year. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.